Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pray 21 this morning. We're excited that you're all here. Um, weather's getting kind of crazy, but we're going to praise Jesus anyway, right? Would you join me in prayer this morning? Would you stand as we get ready for worship? Father, thank you so much for your presence this morning. Uh, we're grateful that you're here among us. We're so thankful that no matter what, you've always been faithful. You'll always be faithful. And God's, we're expecting miracles even right now, even today. Um, we're just going to lift your name on high. We're going to praise you right now, Father. And I pray that it would bring joy to you. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen.
today. The same God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now. And in the waiting, the same God is never late. Is working all things out. You're working all things out. And yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. And yes, I will bless your name. And yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy for all my days. Yes, I will. faithful to us. God, it doesn't matter how far we've gone away. It doesn't matter how far away someone might be. You're faithful. We give you praise for that because you deserve all the praise. You deserve all the glory. And I pray that this morning as we come to you in prayer that you would receive more glory and you would receive more praise and that more people would come to know you and fall in love with you and share the same joy that we have in our hearts. Father, we're reaching out to you because we know that you hear us and we know that you care about us. We know that you love us. God, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. You can all be seated. Thank you again for joining us this morning. I know, like I mentioned, the weather is getting a little frightful outside. You know, that jingle might come into your head. The weather outside, it's not Christmas time, but... 
That's what comes to my head whenever things get a little hairy outside. Um, and thanks to you who are joining us online as well for not making it in this morning. That's okay. Um, so today, our topic um, is more of our needs, right? We're talking 1 Peter 5, 7, which if you've got a Bible, you can flip there. We'll talk about that really quick. But it's our needs, our finances, health, and other personal needs. And it's very fitting, um, the passage of Scripture that we're working from today. I'm going to keep this really short and sweet, hopefully, so that way we can get on our knees and start praying um, and talking to God. Um, but I'm going to read also the verse prior to verse 7 in 1 Peter. So I'm going to read verses... Or verse, I'm going to read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. There's a couple things that we have to point out from this passage of Scripture. Um, and the first couple of things come from that first chunk of Scripture, that verse 6. Um, and the first thing, obviously, is humble yourselves. And I think there's two parts. If you're a Christian and if you believe in Jesus, there's something that all of us have to come to grips with eventually, and that it's learning to humble ourselves. Um, and that's kind of a two-part deal. The first part is we have to recognize that God is sovereign. He's in control. He knows, and we don't. Um, he, he has the plan, and no matter how well laid out our plans are, it's good to, to make plans to Go through the planning process, but know how, no, no matter how well our plans are laid out, he's the sovereign one. He's in control. No matter what we do, we have to recognize that he's sovereign over our lives. He's sovereign over our plans, and he is in control. The other part of that is to recognize, first, that he is sovereign, but second, that we are helpless. I mean, I think the church in general would fare a lot better if more of us would recognize that we are helpless. We, we really, I mean, and maybe that sounds backwards, like a backwards way of thinking, but he sustains us every single day. Every breath that we take, he gives us. Every move that we, that we make in any different direction, he's guiding our paths. He's the one who points us in a direction towards someone who needs help. He's the one who, who gives us light for the next step in the process. So, yeah, we have to recognize that he is sovereign, but we also have to recognize that, you know, we, we can't do this by ourselves. There's no world, no universe that you could live in that you can exist without Jesus and without the power of God. Even if you're outside of the fold of Christianity, you're outside of the family of God. He sustains every single person. So recognizing that he's sovereign and also recognizing that we are helpless. The second part of this is about timing. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, and then it says, so at the proper time, he may exalt you. And I'll just have one quick sentence for this, and then we'll move on. We have to wait for the proper time, not the convenient time. There's a lot about God's timing that you'll hear from tons of different people. Something that's really important that we need to hear about today, especially when it comes to our needs, our finances, the things that we're dealing with. We have to realize that there is a proper time. And it's not always the convenient time. And lastly, um, and I want to read this last part backwards to us and then we'll get to praying. Um, I want to kind of go backwards on that last chunk of scripture. Because he cares for us, we can cast all of our anxieties on him. And sometimes when you're reading in scripture, one word pops out to you, and it's like, oh man, I, I like that. I'm glad that it says it that way instead of some other way. Um, but the word casting popped out to me this morning, um, and casting is, is a verb, and it's something that is happening right now. And so because God cares for us, we can continually always, verb-wise, cast our cares and our anxieties on him. Because he cares for us, right? It's not just like a static, I'm going to cast all my anxieties on God right now because I'm having anxieties. And then later, whenever they come back up, I don't have to cast. No, like casting is a, it's an always occurring thing. Cast those things out there and let him take care of them because he cares about you. Jesus is the most careful person you'll ever encounter. Care, dash, F-U-L-L, -L, care, 
full person that you'll ever encounter. So if you're afraid to trust him with something, recognize that the people that you might trust with your anxieties right now aren't as careful as Jesus is. So giving those things over to them, yeah, they can bear your burdens for a little while, and we're supposed to bear each other's burdens as followers of Jesus. But he ultimately is the most careful. So if you begin to cast those anxieties or continue to cast those anxieties on him, because he's careful, full of care for you, those burdens will begin to lift, and those financial needs, those health needs, those other personal things in his timing Light will begin to be shed on those. And as long as we prioritize his timing, humble ourselves under his mighty hand, we will begin to see his work happen, regardless of what we do. So let's pray, give some quick instruction, and then we'll go to prayer. Father, we're grateful um, again for your presence. We're grateful for your words this morning. I pray that someone watching online or in this room would begin to cast their anxieties on you. God, we are humbled right now that you would meet with us at, at six o'clock in the morning, that you, you're the same God at six in the morning that you are at midnight. Father, you never change and you're always with us. So I pray right now that someone would receive the breakthrough that they need in their life, that they would receive the healing, that they would receive the, the peace that they need, God. So as we reach out to you this morning, Father, I pray that your presence would increase in this place and that our presence might decrease. Father, we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. For those of you watching online, we'll see you back here at 635. Um, For those of us in here, of course, there's prayer cards, prodigal boards. Um, Let's just cry out to God this morning. Still stands, great is your 
such a weird word when you when you think about it um, I learned it from my music teacher when I was in high school and it never left me and it's the word c- cacophony which is weird um, especially if you don't know what it means but it, it literally just means racket it means noise and the wow like the reason that that hits so hard is because I remember praying so hard for my mom to get better praying out loud and just feeling like it was just noise it was just racket nothing was happening my prayers were going up and they were hitting the ceiling and they were bouncing back down that's what it felt like and sometimes when needs are so severe it just feels like the maybe the world is caving in or like something's going so wrong we can't get our prayer we can't say them loud enough we can't get them up there it just seems like noise But we serve a God who's full of care for us. And no matter what your anxieties are, no matter what your pains are, he hears you. And they're not bouncing off the ceiling. I don't know who needed to hear that this morning. But man, that's what what was on my heart. I I felt like I needed to share. Um, So... I, I think I think it's appropriate that we that we create a cacophony this morning, create a little noise. Um, so I'm going to ask us to do something a little bit different. If everyone can just put your hand on somebody next to you, um, 
front of you. And if you're online, you can reach out your hand to the screen. It might feel weird, but um, we're going to pray out loud. If you feel comfortable, just pray out loud for the person next to you. Um, and we're just going to pray for each other, lift each other up and pray for our own needs. Um, we're going to make a cacophony before God, not because it's racket to him, but because it's harmony to him. Because he loves us and he cares about us. Let's pray together. Father God, we love you so much. We are so grateful for your faithfulness. Father, you hear our prayers right now, and even though it might sound like noise to us right now, Father, you hear us, and it is harmony before you. There is not one chord that strikes against another in these prayers that sounds bad to you. Father, we lift up Phil and Carol Ward as they continue to battle cancer in Phil's life. God, you hear our prayers. You know every cell that's in Phil's body, every little bit of everything that's going on with them right now. So, Father, I pray against anxiety, and I cast it out in Jesus' name. I pray against fear. I pray that Satan would have no foothold in their life, Father, that you would bring health back to Phil, that you would bring peace to their lives. Father, I pray for the burdens that people are feeling in their finances right now, the overwhelmingness of debt, God, I pray that you would find some relief, that you would give relief to those who need it this morning. Father, I lift up those other health needs of other people in our church, God, the, the names that are on our lips as we say them to you out loud this morning. There are so many needs, God. And I pray that you would hear every single one of us as we continue to cry out to you. Father, we're believing in faith that you're going to move mountains, that you can move mountains, that you've moved mountains in the past, and you're going to move mountains in the future, and you're moving a mountain even right now as we pray to you, Father. We're lifting up our voices to you, not because we believe it's just noise, but because we believe that you're a God in heaven who cares about us. You sent your son to die on the cross for us, God, and no person would do that pointlessly, God. You did it on purpose. We're believing in your resurrection power this morning. We believe that you hear us and that you don't just hear us, God, but you want to move. You want to make something happen. You want to make miracles happen in our lives. We're believing in a miracle this morning. Father, I pray that as we, as we move forward, as we leave this place, that we would not forget that you're sovereign, you're in control. Yeah, sometimes we feel helpless and we are helpless to be in control on our own. God, you are God. You are in control. Father, we love you and we're so grateful for what you've done, for your faithfulness, for what you're doing right now, the mountains that you're moving and for what tomorrow's gonna bring. We love you. We love you. We love you. Father, we're believing in a miracle. We pray in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Thank you all so much for praying with us this morning. Thanks for joining us online. See you tomorrow.